Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program drums with Swing in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I'm going to add a drum track to program. And I've already created one and saved it as a track template. So I'm going to right click over here, insert track from template, and go to my drums and choose it here. It's a track I set up with multiple versions of Resamplematic 5000 using different samples on each key, which sounds like this. But everything we do in this video is going to work with any drum software you choose. So now I'm going to set up a loop so I can record in just one small section. Four bars from one to five. Turn on looping down here. And I'm going to switch to recording mode so I can overdub my performance. Right over here, instead of recording the input, I'm going to choose Record MIDI Overdub Replace. And then we'll choose Record MIDI Overdub. So I can play the part in multiple passes. I also want to quantize on the way in. So I'm going to right click over here and choose Track Record Settings Input Quantize, which opens up this dialog where we can quantize on the way in. I'm going to switch this to 16th notes, but I'm not going to adjust swing over here. I'm going to keep it at 0%. We could always change this later. So now I'm ready to record my part using my USB MIDI keyboard right down here. That sounds pretty good for now, but now I want to add swing to the performance because right now it's just straight 16th notes. So I can double click the MIDI item, which opens up the MIDI editor, and we can see the performance right here. Now we can re quantize to add some swing right here. Right now it's set to 16th notes and straight. Let's switch it to add swing. Let's put it back to zero and we can slowly bring it up to add some swing. Now what's happening here, if we put it back to zero and zoom in, every other 16th note is being moved off the grid. Right now, they're on the grid. If we bring up our swing strength, it moves just every other 16th note, moving it further away from the grid, creating that different type feel. And we could also quantize on the way in using swing. 
Let's say we're happy with 50%. We wanted to record our part with that setting. Just switch it in the track recording settings, input quantize to whatever value we want. If we choose 50%, it's going to quantize on the way in at 50%. But we can always change it later, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But if we want to hear your part quantized to swing, we want to set this ahead of time. So we'll hear it back on each recording pass correctly. Once again, we could change it by double clicking it and readjusting the swing right over here. We set it up to 50%. So it was like this. But we could have less. Or more. Because even though we used input quantize, we could still change it later. So we could change it before or later to adjust the swing of a drum performance. So that's pretty much it. That's how to program drums with Swing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.